Kirk Cousins, Minnesota Vikings starting quarterback and TV star. Kirk Cousins is probably, no, definitely the most polarizing Vikings quarterback of all time, uh, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I feel like there's mainly like you love him, you hate him. There's not a, there's some that are in between, but there's not a ton of people that are in between. It, mm-hmm. it, it feels mm-hmm. like a really like one, you know, I'm, I'm here or I'm here, you know? Right. Um, right. And everybody watching, we don't know how you feel about Kirk Cousins. What we do know is that 78% of uh, you guys who watch our videos with that. Subscribed. So hit subscribe, hit the button, hit the subscribe Easy. button, ring the notification bell, get updates. We post videos. We do fun stuff. We, we go live. We give, we give away. away Justin Jefferson rookie cards. Yeah. Like, it's fun time. There's no yeah. reason why you do not subscribe and you do not hit the bell to get notifications for our videos because we do good content, good shows, giveaways, the whole thing. We work with great guests, all that good stuff that you, you the reasons why you'd come to watch. So yeah, go ahead sure. and subscribe and hit that bell. Yeah. But anyway, on to the main point. So, yes, yeah. uh, back to the Kirk Cousins being a TV star thing. So uh, Netflix today. Announced that they are that they are doing a docu series on a couple quarterbacks in the NFL, uh, Patrick Mahomes, Kirk Cousins, and Marcus Mariota. Um, so I mean, again, I mean, TV star maybe that's pushing it a little bit too far, but this we'll will be kind out. of fun to see. I think you're um, going to see a lot of love for Kirk Cousins. I don't know if you're going to get the people who are on the uh, not Kirk Cousins fan side to get hop on board, but the people who like Cousins or I'm a or like in between i feel like this is going to be a show where you're really going to like him just because i mean just the idea of this last season with the comeback wins and the kirko thing like that whole thing like i can already picture right now him talking about going through the kirko thing and it's going to be it's going to be quality tv for sure for sure yeah uh but anyway so it's going to be called quarterback um a little little synopsis uh, profiles the lives of mahomes cousins and Mariota on the field on and off the field across 2022 season Uh, We are thrilled to partner with Netflix and could not be more excited for our first project together. NFL Films and Netflix share a passion for dynamic storytelling. And the opportunity to continue our strong relationship with Peyton Manning and Omaha Productions is one way we are incredibly enthusiastic about. Uh, Especially grateful to Mahomes, Cousins, Mariota uh, for an extraordinary view of what it takes to play quarterback in the NFL for the Cousins part of it. Uh, For Cousins and the Vikings losing in the NFC wildcard round of disappointment. He was at least instrumental in Minnesota pulling off the biggest comeback in NFL history when it overturned a 33-point deficit against the Indianapolis Colts. Um, Again, what this article tells me, uh, I believe it is a Bleacher Report article, of course, so they already don't like Kirk Cousins. Uh, The (laughs) fact that all they said was he was at least instrumental in leading a comeback. Not that he led eight other comebacks yeah, this yeah, yeah. season. It looks like they're about um, to come after Mariota pretty hard in that. <laughs> they, they just <laughs> might. He sticks they, out. They said it sticks out like a sore thumb, which he does. But if I'm, I think I read it too, that they were um, like, they had him mic'd up for the entire season. You know, there's probably cameras going around for the entire season is what I'm expecting. But you wonder like, how did they choose them? Cause it was like, man, they, they hit on two of the three for sure. Marcus Mariota, I'm assuming he's going to have like that comeback. Um, he gets another shot at being an NFL court starting NFL quarterback, which didn't really work out. Ritter ends up finishing the season, but cousins as roller coaster of a season that you could possibly have at, for the Vikings as a team and for him to have these comebacks and have the best game of this season, the best game of the year for the entire NFL. Um, and then of course, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, you gotta, I, you wonder who's rooting for the, the uh, chiefs in that Super Bowl game when you've been having a camera going around this guy, the entire season, all the way to a Super Bowl championship those, that's why that's what like you sometimes you have to look at the whole Arian Foster thing going right that right now and wonder like maybe this shit is a little script maybe this shit is real scripted yeah right? you never know you because you how do you start that you just oh I'm gonna pick obviously Patrick Mahomes I'm not surprised they picked him um I actually, mean Patrick Mahomes let's be honest is the new face of the NFL like yeah yeah and the shitty thing is and this is going to be an interesting thing and this is probably where they actually they took some risks for sure because Patrick Mahomes means what Brittany Mahomes that's who it is and Jackson Mahomes mm, that means we're hey, going really to see heard, them we haven't heard a lot from Jackson Mahomes as of late I don't think they're letting him talk <laughs> it looks like I've, there's like videos of him dancing and stuff but I'm assuming Patrick Mahomes was like all right we gotta we gotta settle down here 
yeah. Um, but I think it's going to be kind of cool because what it kind of makes it look like is, yes, it's going to be a lot of on the field stuff, but also uh, they almost made it seem like you're going to get a little bit of like behind the scenes action of right, in the right. locker room, maybe a little bit at home. Uh, you know, with Kirk Cousins and his kids, I think there was a picture of that in there. Yeah, obviously yep, Mahomes yep. being a new father. So going um, out to dinner with Joe Spinoza, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe he'll even make it. Maybe he'll make a. Maybe he'll make an appearance. Who really knows? But <laughs> but overall, you know, I think that's. I think it's going to end up being a pretty cool. I mean, Netflix. Oh, yeah. You want to talk about something that's polarizing? Kirk Cousins is polarizing. So is Netflix. Obviously, yes, with yes, some yes. of the new things they're trying to implement here. But right, right. Seeing our quarterback on a Netflix show. I bet you a ton of Vikings fans are going to be tuning in. A bunch of NFL fans are going to be tuning in. Yeah. Pull, I mean, Patrick Mahomes is a huge pull no matter what. Right, right, right. And by you know, by all accounts, I, I don't know a lot about Marcus Mariota. Seems like a good dude. So, uh, and and it's more of you know, you kind of have like Mahomes, who's the top dog. You have Cousins, who's good and he's polarizing. You know, whatever. Then you got Marcus Mariota, who staff, just who's constantly stuff. fighting to to keep be- get becoming a cor- coming starting quarterback. quarterback. So yeah. Um, so cool it's going to be all that, but yeah, they got the Kirk Cousins part is, you know, it's just the roller coaster season. There's, you can just imagine what it's going to look like. Um, like I already mentioned the Kirko stuff. So I think they hit gold on the quarterbacks that they chose uh, specifically. Cause I can't think of a, a better, um, that's why even people who aren't huge Kirk Cousins fans, like, I think you still tune in because it's not just Kirk Cousins and you'll see a lot of good cousins. I won't even be I would, will not be surprised if Kirk Cousins even pulls a couple people from the other side in from this just cuz he seems like a good dude um and you know the the emotions that had to have happened throughout this season and especially against the Bills and the Colts and I mean we'll see I'm sure we'll see still see that pass we're still going to probably see that pass um I bet you they don't put it in the Voyager though <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's that's the other thing. Uh, the voyage, obviously, the this voyage is this good. is a this is a series that they've been doing for a couple of years now. Uh, usually, they they for the last two seasons they did it during the season. This this time they waited till after the season was mm-hmm. over. Uh, I, I I watched the first episode yesterday. Uh, same, super same. cool. Um, just the intro just gave me goosebumps, and oh, all yeah, the way through watching dude, the first couple. Justin of, Jefferson, kind of just, you scenes. seen Justin Jefferson, and you're just like. We're so lucky to have that guy, for sure. especially like the first episodes about uh, obviously the preseason and training camp and all that stuff. But then the game against the Packers where Justin Jefferson had 180 yards and two mm-hmm. touchdowns, um, man, every like every the way everybody came up to him. Zadarius, that was another one that was in, that was a big impression of me was Zadarius Smith in that episode. And I was like. I was like, man, this kind of sucks that he's going to leave because he just has that. He just has some he has character, man, and and went up and gave Justin Jefferson a hug. Like, I've never seen anything like that, all that stuff. So I think we're going to miss him for sure from and from uh, from just a vocal standpoint, not just from a talent standpoint, but for sure. But but anyway, yeah. So, I mean, it may be the offseason, but there's tons of content with podcasts, with Netflix shows, obviously, man. Exactly. This series. This is something that we'll be able to talk about week. Oh, actually, Netflix drops everything in one day, don't they? Don't they? That'd be kind of nice if they didn't. If they would have done yeah. it week by week for us, it'd be nice for us. Yeah, <laughs> in content sure. creating, but 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 then obviously you got Vikings dropping their own content. Draft. It's the off season. There's there's almost more to talk about in the off season than the regular season. That's what's always exciting. The NFL yeah, yeah, yeah. never sleeps. I'm looking forward to maybe sitting on the couch before I fall asleep watching some. Uh, watching some quarterback on Netflix. I'm excited for it. I know you're excited for it. We want to know if you guys are excited for it. Let us know down in the comment section, your thoughts on this upcoming series on Netflix, as well as the voyage on YouTube. Uh, Make sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time on the GG Sports Podcast. Skull Vikes.